Judy Crane, and this is going to be a free art lesson, a uh, landscape lesson on aerial perspective. I have my uh, palette all laid out. Uh, if you're interested in what I'm using and how I have laid it out, you can go to jerrysartorama.com and look at the um, starter kit. The main thing that I want to discuss here right now today is that in a landscape, as the ground, the subject goes back in space, it gets lighter in color, it gets grayer, and it gets less intense. So I'm going to look at this photograph right here, and we have some mountains. I'm going to do this very quickly. Um, there's another group of mountains coming in. And then we have some trees. And we have a road. So this is going to be the basic structure that will show us what we need to think about here. The far distant mountains are going to be a, a much softer, lighter green. In fact, that's how the Blue Ridge Mountains out here get their name. And so here we have, in fact, I think we'll get even bluer here. So here we have distant mountains. I'm even going to get lighter and a little grayer and especially on the edges there. Now, mixing a little bit brighter. Darker green. We can put in our next layer. And then, as we come forward, we can get into a much more intense green. So we have a much brighter, darker green. These can be the trees that are here in the foreground. So with a very limited palette, we have a definite feeling that these trees are going back in space. And the colors can be adjusted to create a feeling of sun and depth. A little bit of uh, a little bit of a purple. Added into some of these distant trees can even set them back further, the distant mountain. Then as we really come forward in the painting, the greens that would be here in the foreground, this picture shows um, dried grasses and things, but as we're coming forward, these colors can get even more intense. And the road itself is the other aspect I wanted to talk about in the perspective. As things go back in space, they get smaller. So, in, you know, when you look at the road ahead of you when you're driving, it gets much more narrow uh, as you look ahead. And this is what also creates space. From where I'm standing, this road would be getting narrower, and the turns in it would be getting very flat. If I were in an airplane or on a mountaintop looking down, then this would be a much bigger curve. And 
And in the far distance here, let's put in a plane of ground separating those. And now you can see that road going back into the space. So if you want to add some color to the road, um, out here in North Carolina we have a lot of red clay. So there we have our road going back in the distance. It might be warmer and brighter in the foreground, getting lighter in the background. And so there on a two-dimensional plane, we have a great feeling of space and distance as, as this road narrows going back, the planes flatten out, the colors are going from bright to duller, less intense. The colors are getting lighter as they go back in the distance and um, becoming bluer and cooler. Add some sky to that and some details and you can have a nice little landscape. Hope you've enjoyed this free art lesson. Come back and see the next one.